Welcome to Techidia Daily. I'm Ndubisi Ekewe. A conversation today we focus on Indominodo and how his strategy actually helped you to defeat uh, Dangote's uh, group synodos. You know, uh, it's not every time in Nigeria that you can actually use uh, the, the word beat when you are talking about Dangote group uh, because. Uh, is uh, actually the most formidable uh, West African conglomerate that uh, any industrial sector it decides to enter, it has a record of actually conquering it. And then just like that, <laughs> it becomes uh, the industry category leader. Uh, but in this specific case here, um, it didn't work. Um, it's, it's a formidable firm in cement, sugar, flour, and all of them. The 2008 uh, Bangote Group started in Dangote Nodos, a subsidiary of his, uh, of his uh, conglomerate. Uh, this is uh, a business that has relied largely on asset heavy uh, competitive advantage, uh, building this capability, making it very difficult for competitors to actually catch up. You know, he uses the scale he has transportation, electricity generation, education, training, strong management, <laughs> and no one comes in. And when he builds this, the barrier of entry becomes very high. And even when it is not the first in the sector, it can actually always go and catch up. It uses this uh, uh, accumulation of capability, which basically means that over the years, it continues to move into the upstream of any specific sector it wants to participate. And that gives it the capability of having an opportunity to generate extra value and what the competitors usually at this level can do. So in the area of, uh, uh, of energy, energy efficiency, in terms of pricing, he can generate his own electricity. He has his own truck. <laughs> he, he has his own school. He has all these components which are very, very critical to make the Dangote Group extremely efficient. You're not just talking about economy of scale. You're talking about economies of speed, economies of efficiency and productivity in that fund. And that means when he begins to execute, you have no chance to catch up. And when he comes into your sector, he can use his scale he has to bulldoze itself and become the category leader. But exactly what Dankote does is what Indominodo parent company did. They build capability in the area of energy, they build capability in the area of distribution, they build domain expertise and mastered every aspect of logistics. They have their own training school. They have a very strong management team. And they also have a capital focusing largely on the nodes. So there is no new game Dangote can play in this specific sector of Indo nodes that Indomie parent company has not actually done. So all of a sudden, the whole model of improving efficiency and using that to reduce cost, even while improving quality that Dangote has used to compete and essentially taking over every sector it has gone, cannot work here because the Indomi people have already done that. And what happened? You know that. It's simple. Indomi Nodo bought the Dangote Nodos. So when it could not compete, the Dangote group sold its subsidiary, the, the Dangode Nodos, to the same company it competed largely against. And it will continue to hold and sell the Dangote Instant Nodos, I think for the next two years. After that, the brand will be phased out. And when it's phased out, it's gone. And that means that Indomie Nodos has used the accumulation of capability, exactly the same strategy that Dangote uses against it. And what does it tell us? It tells us that anyone can compete and get the Dangote group. It's not that a fantasy. It's something that if you do and understand what you have to do, that you can actually get that. You can never win Dangote group if you are here. You have to get at this level. That is where you have to have a higher level of capability at the upstream sector, at the upstream level instead of the downstream. And when you do that, the results, I promise you, it may not necessarily turn out positive because you're going against a genius, one of the brilliant businessmen ever, ever in the world. 
but I'll tell you, you have a chance. You are listening to, to TV and there.